You got overachiever Tampa, underachiever Philadelphia. Nobody could have expected this to be in the situation this situation is. Well, the Eagles have lost all these games. They've dropped five of their last six. And Nick Sirianni, last time we saw, was in the Super Bowl with that defense, and I added to the defense, and defense can't get off the field. They're giving up 352 yards per game. That defense. That's unbelievable. And they were in the Super Bowl. Yeah. So you got that. The offense is really banged up. Jalen Hurts, very limited practice. He's got a sprained finger. Luckily, no torn ligaments. Uh, A.J. Brown has not practiced this week. There's a knee issue there. Uh, they, they got injuries at tight end, and the defense has died. Suddenly, Philadelphia is not what Philadelphia was, and they're booing that football team. Uh, you know, and then and you look at Baker Mayfield. Nobody expected this. He comes from the unemployment line, and he drives <laughs> the great. bus into the playoffs, 28 touchdowns, 13 picks. He does turn that sucker over. But he's got he's got a, a young running back, or came out of Arizona State, Rashid White, who's almost 1,000 yards. Nobody could have ever expected that. He does have Mike Evans. He does have Chris Godwin. Those two guys have caught 153 receptions between them. So I guess to me, Tampa has overachieved to get to this point. Nobody expected Baker to do this and save his career. And Philadelphia just grossly underachieved. And I'll tell you, if something happens and Philly doesn't win this wild card game, there will be bodies in garbage bags on street corners <laughs> outside the Eagle headquarters For on Monday because sure. they're going to have to move somebody out of this thing has really, has really gone off track. Uh, I don't know if Tampa could pull an upset, but Philadelphia is so beat up on offense now with the quarterback not being the quarterback. And they got so many problems on defense. I guess anything is possible. Wow. I mean, you know, it's interesting that, that we, we have all these marquee quarterbacks that we talk about, but think of all the, there's a collection of them that, you know, have resurrected their, their, their careers like Flacco and like Mayfield. And there's been a few others. So it's, it's interesting, but what, what the problem with the Eagles, is it all on injuries or is there something else going on? There's something wrong defensively. And, you know, the Darius Slay, their Pro Bowl safety, has been in and out of the lineup with injuries. They've had some other injuries in the secondary. But you still look at their everyday lineup at the top, and they are so physically big and tough. And the guys they drafted, drafted a whole of Georgia's defense two years in a row. That's right. They're all playing. Yeah. And Fletcher Cox is still playing well. It, there's something on the back end, or maybe it's a system they're running, but uh, this is they've been abysmal on defense the whole second half of the football season. And now the playmaker – is dinged. And I, I just don't know whether Jalen Hurts is going to be able to be what Jalen Hurts needs to be for them to win this game. So, yeah, there could be an upset in the making there. In Tampa and the game's Bay. in Tampa, yes. isn't it? So we'll see. From 10 and 1, the Eagles were to where they are today, aka in trouble. Unbelievable. I mean, I just, it's, it's mind blowing. Hey, our podcast is brought to you by North County Eye Center of. 